Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, our uh, fourth lab for the general microbiology is going to be about the colony morphology. So why it's important to know about the colony uh, morphology of the different types of bacteria? Because the colony morphology is unique for uh, different types of bacteria. And by knowing, knowing the colony morphology, we can get additional information and it helps us in identification of the bacterium. So to start with, what is the colony? Colony is an aggregate of uh, multiple uh, single cells of bacteria. So bacteria, when it grows on the solid medium, a single cell of bacteria is not going to be, a, we are not going to be able to uh, see it by the naked eye, but uh, instead the single cells of bacteria are going to stack on top of each other to form what we call uh, the colony. And the colony constitute a clone of bacteria and each colony has genetically unique uh, characteristics. Uh, so when we take a single colony of bacteria from the agar blade, we know that all these uh, bacteria are genetically uh, alike. So what are the things or the characteristics that we look at in the colony morphology? We look at the shape of the colony. We look at the size of the colony, which varies from pinpoint to large. We look at the uh, shape or the elevation of the a colony, uh, the margin of the colony, we look at the surface, uh, whether it's smooth, wavy, rough, or granular, and also we look at the appearance, is it shiny, dull, opaque. We also look at the uh, texture of the colony itself and the uh, color of the colony as well, uh, because certain bacteria can give us uh, different colors, so bluish greenish color might be specific or more specific for uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Golden color uh, is specific for Staphylococcus aureus. So first we're going to start with the shape. Uh, bacteria colonies come in different shapes uh, such as the circular or the entire uh, shape that we see here. Also we have the rhizoid shape and the filamentous shape. So the rhizoid shape you can see that it has a, a snowflake-like appearance, while the filamentous is circular in the middle with uh, tiny projections at the outer edge of the colony. And we have irregular shaped colonies as well. The second is the size, and the size might vary from pinpoint, 0.2 to 0.3 millimeters, to as large as 6, 7, or even 10 uh, millimeters in uh, diameter and in this uh, plate we can see different colors and sizes of a colony elevation of the uh, bacterial colony so the uh, bacterial colony might be raised it might be convex it might be flat it might be dimbled from the middle or it might be uh, ambulate with an elevation in the middle of the colony. The uh, fourth characteristic is the margin. So the margin of the colony, it might be curled, it might be entire or smooth, so uh, very smooth and rounded edge. It might have tiny projections, which we call filamentous. It might be wavy, as we can see here. It might have uh, uh, lobe-like, so we call it lobate, or uh, it might be a rose or uh, serrated. The appearance of the uh, bacterial colony, we have shiny, we have the dull, and we have the opaque. So shiny, as we can see here, uh, it is this one is shiny, this one is dull, and for opaque colonies, when we talk about examples of bacterial colonies, we're going to uh, show many uh, examples of bacterial colonies which are opaque in appearance. Texture of the uh, bacterial colonies, we have the smooth texture, as we can see here. We have the rough texture and we have the wet texture. Also, we have the shiny viscous, dry mucoid, translucent, and when we talk about examples, we're going to show different types of textures as well. Also pigmentation or color of the colonies. So we have the orange color, we have red or pink, black, brown, opaque, and milky, 
and this one is pigmented this one most commonly as we said greenish bluish goes with the pseudomonas uh, aeruginosa and we might have non-pigmented or uh, whitish whitish grayish uh, colonies also we're going to look at the hemolysis pattern so when we talk about hemolysis pattern we're talking about a uh, hemolysis pattern on blood agar specifically and it was seen that different bacteria have different uh, hemolysis pattern on blood agar it's characterized by either alpha hemolysis which is partial hemolysis and can be seen as greenish color of the uh, discoloration of the uh, media or beta hemolysis complete hemolysis which can be seen as yellowish discoloration of the media or the gamma hemolysis which is no hemolysis with, where there is no change in the color of the media also other characteristics which are common for which are uh, unique for certain uh, types of bacteria such as in the pseudomonas aeruginosa we can smell sweet grape like uh, smell for the bacterial colonies proteus it has a unique chocolate cake smell and also uh, there is a swarming uh, across the agar we can see this swarming uh, shape on the uh, solid medium and when we see this shape we think uh, directly of proteus species also the uh, clepsiella the colonies are characterized by being very wet and we call them also a uh, mucoid or sticky like so in the next slides we're going to uh, show uh, examples on uh, the colony morphology of specific bacteria on blood agar so this uh, here we show the pseudomonas aeruginosa and if we look at the colonies of the Pseudomonas aeruginosa, they are characterized by being irregular. They are raised and they have unclear margins. They are moist, opaque, shiny, brownish grayish, and the size of the colonies are uh, around two millimeter in diameter. Also, this represents the Escherichia coli. And in the Escherichia coli, we can look at the colonies. They are circular, white in color. They are raised, opaque, soft, moist, and they have regular margins, and they are characterized, as we can see here, by being beta hemolytic on blood agar. Also here we have the Klebsiella pneumonia, and Klebsiella pneumonia, if we look at the colonies of Klebsiella pneumonia on blood agar, they are circular, mucoid, as we can see here, they are sticky, they are two to three millimeter in diameter. They have regular margins. They are grayish whitish in color and the texture is opaque. Also here we have the Salmonella typhi. If we look at the colonies of the Salmonella typhi, they are circular, flat. They are one to two millimeter in diameter. They have regular margins. They are grayish in color, opaque and moist as well. Here we're looking at the Proteus species. And as I told you, if you look and see this swarming appearance of the colony, you should think straight away of Proteus species. The colonies are irregular, have irregular margins, and the colonies are not really clear. Another example of uh, bacteria is the Acinetobacter. The Acinetobacter, as we can see here, they are shiny, circular, raised, clear moist and they are small in size around one millimeter in diameter another example is the listeria uh, species or the listeria monocytogens as one of the listeria uh, the uh, colonies are very tiny they are uh, around one millimeter or even less they are circular regular opaque and they have smooth surface and they are listening this is the cornibacterium diphtheriae the colonies are small as we can see here on this plate they are around 0.5 millimeter in diameter they are whitish grayish they are glistening they are ha the the colony is uh, raised circular and it does not show any pattern of hemolysis on blood agar 
Shigella Sony Eye is 1 to 2 mm in diameter. Uh, the colony is uh, circular, moist, and has an entire margin. This is the Haemophilus influenza. And if we look at the Haemophilus influenza, we can see that it is circular, it is convex, the colony is transparent or colorless, and the colony is moist, small, and it is characterized by having these small colony-like, which surround the, uh, the uh, Haemophilus influenza colony, these tiny or pinpoint colonies, which we call them the satellites. Staphylococcus aureus. Staphylococcus aureus has a golden yellow, and this is where the aureus uh, name came from, from being golden yellow in color. Uh, they are well known for being beta hemolytic or uh, have complete hemolysis on blood agar, as we can see here, the yellowish uh, discoloration of the medium. They are circular. They are small, one millimeter in diameter. They are raised, have entire margins, and they are opaque, small, and the colonies are listening. Staphylococcus epidermidis has a grayish whitish color. They are smaller than the Staph aureus. Uh, they are characterized by being beta hemolytic as well. They are, the colonies are convex, opaque, and they are wet as well. In Tyrococcus fecalis, the colonies that we see here, they are raised, they are one millimeter in diameter, they are gray in color, circular, they have regular margins, and they uh, does not exhibit any hemolysis patterns, so they are classified as ga gamma hemolysis. Veridans strip or strip veridans, these colonies, these small colonies that we see here, this small colony, it is circular, has regular margin, it is small, 0.2 to 0.3 millimeter, and it is characterized by being alpha hemolytic, that's partial hemolysis, and we can see that clearly here from the uh, greenish discoloration of the blood agar. Streptococcus, pyg uh, Streptococcus pyginus, or group A strip, uh, as we can see, look here at the colony, it is dry, opaque, has regular margin, circular, uh, 0.5 millimeter in diameter, uh, grayish, whitish in color, and it is characterized by being beta hemolytic. So we call it sometimes group A, beta hemolytic strip strip. Strip pneumonia, look at the colonies for the strip pneumonia. They have irregular margins, they are raised, the margins are not clear. The uh, colonies, as you can see, they are moist, opaque, shiny, and they are usually one to two millimeter in diameter, and they are characterized by being partial hemolytic on blood agar, and that uh, the pattern that they exhibit is alpha hemolysis, partial hemolysis, and we can be seen by the greenish discoloration of the blood agar. That's all for the colony morphology lab. Wish you best of luck. Thank you.